DSC Curve Solutions is a computer application simulating DSC curves of any actual DSC experiments. This video is a brief demonstration showing how DSC Curve Solutions works. Double click on DSC Curve Solutions, an application window opens. You can see two panes, the left one is for sample properties, and the right one for DSC experimental conditions. Let's see some examples. Assume your sample mass is 10 mg, and specific heat capacity 1.5 Joule per gram per K, you make a DSC run at 10 degree per minute from 20 to 340 degree centigrade. Put the numbers into the boxes, then click button run, simulation is running. The results show two DSC curves. The top one is for heat flow versus temperature, the bottom one for heat flow versus time. The curves start from zero, via a transition period of tail, settle in a constant value. If you want to simulate a curing curve of an epoxy resin, check the box curing. There are eight relevant parameters for autocatalytic models. Key in numbers into these boxes, click button run, you can see simulated DSC curves instantly. The results show two DSC curves. The top one is for heat flow versus temperature, the bottom one for heat flow versus time. The curves start from zero, via a transition period of tail, settle in a constant value, we then see the curing exothermal over this temperature range. The green curve is for degree of curing, it starts from zero, increases during curing process until fully cured. Now we see how to determine non-isothermal parameters from actual DSC curves. We first need to input your experimental DSC curve to DCS. Open a data file. Sample mass and the DSC conditions are included in the file. This file does not have time. Column 2 is for temperature and column 3 for heat flow. First put known parameters, sample mass, heating rates etc. to the boxes, these numbers are unchangeable. Click checkbox curing, put guess numbers to the relevant boxes, run DCS simulation. You then adjust the parameter according to how simulated DCS red curve departs from the DSC black curve. Trial and error, until simulated curve matches the experiment curve. All the curing kinetics are then determined. The differential equation fully describes the curing behavior of the resin. That is all what we want to know, no more and no less for non-isothermal kinetics of the resin. Now let's see a sample having melting and crystallization property over the temperature range. Tick the melting crystallization checkbox. Fill in all the relevant boxes with numbers. Here, we assume the sample having initial crystallinity of 20%, maximum crystallinity is 80%. We then run DSC at 5K per minute for 20 to 340 degrees centigrade. Keep 10 minutes isothermal at 340 degrees centigrade, then drop temperature to 30 degrees centigrade at 15K per minute. Click button run, DSC curve is displayed. In the heating process, a crystallization endotherm is observed, melting exotherm is followed. During its cooling process, the sample recrystallizes. 
The blue curve is for crystallinity. It starts with 20%, increases to 80% due to crystallization, melts to zero, recrystallizes to 58%. The curve of heat flow versus time is shown below. You see crystallization and melting here, isothermal process here, then recrystallization during cooling. The blue curve shows how crystallinity changing with time. Now, let's see how DSC curve solutions fits for real DSC experimental curve. We open a data file. Sample mass and DSC conditions are here. This file does not have time. Column 2 is for temperature and column 3 for heat flow. First put known parameters, sample mass, heating rates etc. to the boxes. Then put guess numbers relating to the crystallization and melting to the relevant boxes. Run DCS simulation. Trials and errors, until simulated curve matches the experiment curve. All the crystallization and melting parameters determined. You will instantly know how to use it. No training is needed. There are so many to show. The best is to have a trial of DSC curve solutions. Trial is free. You'll find much more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.